Is your child ready for kindergarten math? Well, let's go over what they should have learned before kindergarten. For fine motor skills, they need to be able to hold and use pencils, crayons, and scissors. For academic math skills, identifies colors in an eight count crayon box. So that means red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, which is purple, brown, and black and counts to 10 with one-to-one -one correspondence. That means they can point to items as they count to 10. Identifies written numerals one through 10. Knows how to hold a book and track words with finger from left to right. Identifies square, rectangle, triangle, and circle, and can sort items by size, color, or shape Now, as many of you know, I'm left-handed. So depending on which hand your child uses, I'm gonna do my best to show both right and left hand writing numbers. But depending on which one they use, left or right is gonna depend on how well this goes. I've been very reluctant to make a kindergarten math playlist because of all the learning to write numbers that are involved in kindergarten math. So please work with your child for each lesson. Watch each lesson together. Don't just sit them in front of the video. I need you right-handed parents to help me out here. So for the parents who are interested, there's other academic skills needed for kindergarten aside from the ones I listed for math. There's coping skills. Can they follow routines and expectations? manage transitions and changes in routine, tolerates frustration appropriately or separates easily from parents or caregivers, uses the toilet independently, demonstrates age-appropriate dressing and eating skills, respects peers, adults, and their environment, and understand that actions have consequences, whether positive or negative. For their social skills, interacts appropriately with children in large and small groups, takes turns, resolves conflicts with peers. For expressive language skills, communicates with peers and adults, communicates personal needs, actively participates in conversations using reciprocal dialogue. That means are they answering back or are they just standing there quietly? Receptive language skills, listens attentively in large and small groups, follows two-step directions independently. For attention and focus, sustains attention during adult-directed activities for 10 minutes, sustains att attention during self-selected activities for 15 minutes, and exhibits impulse control. No grabbing, no pushing. For reading and book skills, we already mentioned that they should know how to hold a book and turn pages, understands the role of author and illustrator, the author wrote it, the illustrator drew the pictures, retells the story from pictures, recognizes their first name in uppercase letters, writes their first name with a capital letter and then some small lowercase letters after that, identifies seven or more uppercase letters, identifies seven or more lowercase letters. So they don't need to have all of them identified, just some or as many as possible recognizes letter sounds, even if they're out of order, as many as they can, understand basic rhymes like cat, sat, me, tree, and say or sing the alphabet the best they can, even if it ends up a little bit out of order. So this is just a guideline. It's not a rigid list of must-haves, but the more they know, the easier it'll be for them. So I hope your child's ready for kindergarten math, and I hope you'll join me for our first lesson. Bye.